When influenza viruses infect birds, the resulting infection is often called bird flu. Avian influenza viruses can infect both wild and domestic birds, with the major natural reservoir for influenza A viruses being waterfowl. This includes birds such as ducks and geese that are capable of traveling long distances. Waterfowl will harbor the influenza virus without showing signs of being sick and can spread the disease to domestic poultry during their migrations. Avian influenza viruses are further classified based on pathogenicity, which refers to the severity of disease seen in domestic poultry. Low pathogenic viruses are responsible for causing mild disease in birds, while highly pathogenic viruses are responsible for causing severe disease in birds. And while not common, influenza viruses that infect birds can also infect people. Three prominent subtypes of avian influenza A viruses, known to infect both birds and people, are the subtypes H5, H7, and H9. Avian influenza viruses can be spread through direct contact with secretions from infected birds, especially feces. Apart from bird-to-bird -bird spread of the virus, avian influenza viruses are readily transmitted by indirect contact with fomites, such as contaminated shoes, clothing, vehicles, equipment, feed, and cages. Highly pathogenic viruses can survive for long periods of time in the environment and on contaminated objects, especially when temperatures are low. Occasionally, humans can be infected with bird flu, and poultry can be infected with human influenza viruses. Swine influenza, or flu, is a respiratory disease of pigs caused by type A influenza viruses that normally circulate in pig populations. Like human and avian influenza viruses, there are different subtypes and strains of swine influenza viruses. Over the years, different variations of swine flu viruses have emerged. At this time, there are three main influenza A virus subtypes that have been isolated in pigs in the United States, H1N1, H1N2, and H3N2. These viruses are genetically different from the seasonal flu viruses that commonly circulate in people. Swine flu viruses do not normally infect humans, however, sporadic human infections with swine influenza viruses have occurred. When this happens, these viruses are called variant viruses, which is denoted by adding the letter V to the end of the virus subtype designation. Like human and avian influenza viruses, swine influenza virus transmission can occur through direct contact with secretions or indirect contact with fomites. It is important to realize that the flu can spread from pigs to people and from people to pigs. Influenza viruses that normally circulate in pigs can infect people, but this is not common. Most reported cases of human infection with swine flu viruses have occurred in people who have been near infected pigs in public settings, such as fairs or petting zoos, or who work directly with infected pigs. Pigs can also serve as a mixing vessel where flu viruses from humans and birds infect pigs and subsequently undergo genetic shift creating a new influenza virus that can infect humans. When it comes to prevention, the goal is to minimize the potential for spread of influenza viruses between birds, pigs, and ultimately people. Avoid close contact with any pigs or birds that look or act ill. If working closely with sick poultry or pigs, PPE including respiratory and eye protection may be recommended to minimize disease transmission to humans. Make sure to keep one set of protective clothing per facility so that you don't cross-contaminate and spread the disease to other animals. It is important that you take off protective clothing once your work or visit at the facility is finished before you step into your car, enter another building, or enter a home. Lastly, remember to get your annual flu shot.